All right, hello. So I am here with my 2005 Mini Cooper S convertible, and my goal is to show you how to get back behind the Speedo cover so you can dust it out, like I did when I got the car. Uh, unfortunately, uh, and why I'm gonna take it apart again today, when I did mine, I made the mistake of bumping this speedometer. So every time that I've reset it, it has drooped back down into this area. This is as far as it's drooping, but it puts me about 20 miles an hour off. So uh, I'm gonna experiment today a little bit and see if I can fix that. But first I've actually got to get to it. So I'm gonna use my uh, trim kit here. Try not to do this um, with, uh, with screwdrivers and metal objects, you will booger up your stuff. So first thing I wanna do, I'm gonna get this open here so I can reach right over here. And I'm just gonna pull on the bottom right here, okay? Just nice and easy. I just wanna support that. So when I'm pulling it out, I don't jerk it out. And I'm gonna get the one on this side. And now what I need to do is lift up a little bit here. So honestly, it really, as long as you're just using something that will go easy on it, it is fine. So I'm gonna finish getting that one out. Set that trim piece up here. And now I've got this piece I wanna take out, but I don't do it in this order. I have to come over here and get this out. Each end of this is actually trapped under the two outside pieces. So what I need to do is come over here. I'm gonna lift up on this bottom tab just a little bit, give it a little tug. And then I'm gonna get a little distance here and I'm gonna pull this one out just a little bit. That, I don't have to get it out very far. It's just enough to give me the room to get this out. Now I'm gonna use both hands. I'm gonna pull up on the bottom here, okay. I'll take these rings, I forgot to do that, set these rings off. I have new rings coming because some of these tabs were kind of old and broken, so I got a whole new set of rings coming here pretty soon. So at any rate, now I've got this off here, all right, but I've still got these two tabs. So these tabs are kind of looped in here. I'll show you in a second. What I want to do is just get myself a little bit of room here. I just want to be careful with this because I'm not trying to, I don't want to break anything. So I'm just going to get myself a little bit of distance and then just lift that up. I'll show you a minute when I'm lifting that over. You can do the same thing over here. Just get a little bit of distance. This may not be the best tool for it, but you can see right here, there's, these, are, these are holes and they hook in like so. So you just want to be careful getting those out. I don't have to take this piece off to do my next bit. So the next thing I want to do is I want to get, I need to take two screws out of this piece here. That's a Torx 20. So I'm just going to use this handy little guy here. And these are at an angle right in here. There we go. And you want to be careful that you don't drop these like I think I may have just done uh, because they're terribly difficult to find. So find those and find that one in a little bit here. I'll get this one out and get a hold of it. Drop it right there in the what we call a glove box in the, U in the U.S. And I will get my hands on that other one here shortly. So now. I'm in a position where I can pull up on the bottom of this, okay? And I'm gonna just pull down. There's a nipple here and a nipple here. That's the back side of where those screws are, okay? And what I wanna do is I wanna create a little more distance in this just like I did before, okay? So just a little distance here. Let me get that out. Get a little bit of a gap in here. I'm gonna take that one out. All right, so now this comes off, okay? Now we've got this one off, I'm gonna lay it over here to the side. All right, so the only thing I have left now is my cover. So that does take a smaller, uh, like a, almost like a screwdriver. And you just take right here. I'm gonna go here, pull, just give a little bit of tug there, and a little bit of tug here. It comes off pretty easy. Now I've gotten to my speedometer. 
and that's how you do it. Everything really just goes on right in the reverse direction. Uh, I don't think it really takes a lot of explanation uh, for that. So uh, happy motoring.